How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Yanfly's, uh, several of Yanfly's plugins to create a equip skill combo bonus. So the idea of this is that um, when you equipped your skills, if you get like the tier 2 skill, like you have fire 1 and fire 2, if you equipped, uh, you only have so many skills that you can equip, and so when you get fire 2, you usually never use fire 1 again because it's, you know, you only have so many slots and uh, you have a superior version of that type of spell. So the idea of this uh, tips and tricks is like, so you can still have a use for that fire 1 skill, so it doesn't become obsolete. So how it works is you uh, put some code in the note tags, we'll get into that in a second, and it's going to check to see what skills you currently have equipped. And if you have the certain skills that you specify, in this case I'm checking for fire 1 and fire 2, then it'll add a state. And you can make that state do whatever you want. And for this example, I'm using Yanfly's Element Core to increase the damage that all types of one element create. Um, so I have a skill called Fire 1, and it's going to do 100 damage. I changed the formula just to show you how, um, how it works. So it's going to have no variance, no critical, it's just going to do 100 damage. And I have a skill called Fire 2 that's going to do 200 damage. But if you equipped both of them at the same time, um, you're going to get a passive state called um, Fire Power. If we go over using another one of Yanfly's plugins, uh, the status, uh, I forgot what it's called exactly, but I'll put a link to it uh, below. Um, basically, it's cre I'm creating a state that gives me um, an element uh, amplify effect in a state note tag. So this is making all of my spells that use the element type of fire to do 10% more damage when I have fire 1 and fire 2 equipped. So now this is going to give a use to having fire 1 again because it's making my fire 2 10% stronger therefore uh, increasing the, the most uh, the maximum damage so let's take a look at this we do fire 1 and instead of 100 damage it's doing 110 damage and fire 2 instead of 200 damage it's doing 220 damage so that's the idea there um, let's escape or try to escape and let's uh, take a look at that so we have Yenfly's uh, skill equip menu um, like I said, I'll put a, a link to all the plugins you need uh, below on driftwoodgaming.com, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so we have these two skills equipped, and you can see that we have a state indicated right there. If we were to unequip either of these states, uh, or either of those skills, we'll lose that passive state, so we no longer have that 10% bonus. So now Fire 2 will only do 200 damage. Uh, and it works the same way. If we, uh, we re-equip them, we gain that state back. Or if we take off fire too, you know, we lose that state. So basically it checks to see if you have multiple skills, and if you have those multiple skills, then you add a state. And that's the idea for this. So just to show you, um, I have one of them equipped now, and if we use that skill, instead of 110 damage like it was doing, we no longer have the 10% bonus. It's just going to do 100 damage. So let's get into the code, and I'll show you uh, how to make that happen. It's pretty simple, but you're going to need uh, some code. So the code you're going to need, you're going to go to your states tab and add a new state, and you can make it do whatever you want. You don't have to use Yanfly's element core to increase the firepower. You can have two different skills, and then those two skills can do something else. Like, for example, I've got this skill called Shockfire, and I want to make, make it so that if I have, uh, like, Thunderbolt and Fire equipped at the same time, it's going to add a skill. So um, I'm going to come back to this because uh, there's something uh, tricky that you have to do in order to make it work when your state adds a skill. But let's take a look at this first. So to add the element core effect, you just do element amplify, and then the number you put right here is going to reflect um, the number of the state you want to change. So 2 is my fire element. So on my state, I'm doing element amplify 2, which is fire, by however much percentage I want, 10%. And then we put in this code for... Uh, all of this, all of the states you want to be added uh, to do a, um, the combo bonus. And I'm going to, let's see here. So all you have to do is go to driftwoodgaming.com, click on RPG Maker MV, click on tips, or go to tips and tricks, and you'll see all of the tips and tricks that I'm going to be posting right here. So for this one, we're going to click on equip skill combo bonus, and 
it'll load up and it'll give you what it is, some more information on it, all the plugins you need. Uh, these links will take you directly to Yanfly's site where you can download all the plugins you need. You don't need all 10 of these plugins, but I recommend these 10 plugins for maximum, uh, maximum usage out of this setup. Um, and I go into some more detail on how to use these right here. And basically, you're just going to uh, copy this code right here from custom passive condition all the way down to the, the closing custom passive condition. Copy that, and you're going to put that inside of your state note tag. And as you scroll down, you're going to see we've got some comments here. This code, thank you very much to Yanfly for submitting this code to me. Um, right here, combo.push inside of these parentheses. This is where you're going to change the number to decide what skills do you want to check for. So for this firepower plus 10%, I'm checking to see if they have fire equipped and fire to equipped. This is just a comment, so this doesn't need to be there. Matter of fact, you can get rid of this whole thing, but it's just there to remind you that what you change is right here. So 11 and 12, it's checking for 11 and 12. If we go over to our skills, we see 11 is our fire skill and 12 is our fire two skill. So to, to specify what skills you want to check for, you just go to the combo.push, change your numbers in here. A uh, cool thing about this is it's storing combo as an array. So we can actually have as many values as you want. So you can do like comma 13, and now it's checking for fire 1, 2, and 3. And we can have this do plus 20% damage, you know, by changing that to 20%. So you can have as many different skills in this combo as you want. So that means you'll be able to do like, uh, if you have eight different skills, and if you combine all eight of these skills, you get like this super bonus to uh, double your damage or reduce your MP cost. Basically, you can give whatever bonus you want. Anything you can put in the traits of a state can be applied as a bonus for equipping those number of spells or skills. So yeah, it's very, very... Uh, uh, it, it opens up some doors to add cool ideas. This is very similar to how Final Fantasy XI approaches the Blue Mage. If you equip certain Blue Mage skills, you'll be able to unlock uh, passive traits that do different things, and you can specify what those things do. Um, a couple things that are vital, you do need um, the auto passive states for this to work. You don't need to give it any removal conditions because what you have to do is take the number of this state, go over to your classes or actors, and give that, uh, put in the note tags of the classes or actors, the passive state. So we can see that this is state one or 211 for the firepower. So what we're doing is we're adding passive state 211 to that actor. So basically they always have this passive state, but it's never unlocked until it, it meets the custom passive condition, which is uh, having these skills inside your uh, equip skill uh, function, where is it at? Uh, battle skills raw function method. So basically it's checking for those two skills. Are those two skills equipped currently? If they are, then unlock the passive that you already have. Uh, otherwise it's turned off. All right, one more thing I want to go over. Remember what I was saying about having like Thunderbolt and Fire and you have those two spells, but you want to get another a spell or ability new skill if you have certain skills equipped. It becomes very tricky in order to handle how this works on the refresh rate. Um, like how it refreshes. So you have to exit the menu and go back into the menu for it to update. It still works, but you have to add some other code. So let's take a look at the skill Shockfire. So if I go down and find my skill Shockfire, this is the skill that's going to do, once again, we're using Yanfly's element course, so I'm applying multiple elements. So this is a fire element, but it's also a thunder element. So it's doing two types of elemental damage. Um, but you have to put some code in it to make it work. So what we're going to be adding is also uh, on in the website here at the bottom. So underneath that, if you want to add a state that adds another skill, you're going to use this code right here. You can copy paste this code and this bottom code goes inside the skill. So this is what I have right here. So we're doing a custom show eval that's saying if we're, if, uh, the target or a.is state affected by 201, this number will be changed. But basically saying, if we have this state on us at the time, then we're going to make the skill visible. Otherwise, the skill is not, it's not visible. It's invisible. So this code is going to go into the skill that's being added by a state. <laughs> I know this is complicated. That's granted for having multiple other skills equipped. So let's look at this skill right here, uh, this state. So I have a state for Shockfire and a skill for Shockfire. So Shockfire skill has that code at the bottom. And it's saying if we're affected with, two, with state 201, 
Let's look at state 201. State 201 is checking to see if we have the skill fire and uh, bolt equipped it at the same time. So we're using the first line of code on the state and the second uh, set of code on the skill. So in this one, if we're using fire and bolt, then we're gonna add a state of shock fire and this state is adding a skill of shock fire. So this is going to unlock this skill. It's a little tricky on the refresh rate, so I want to go into it and look at that uh, in game to show you how it operates. So you may not want to add uh, skills with states using the, the equip uh, bonus, but you can still do it. Uh, once again, this is going to be a passive state of 201, uh, which is, uh, wait, states. Uh, so it's going to be a passive state. So we have to add this passive state to, this, to the classes or the actors. So we have passive states 201 to 209 here because I have multiple skills that are doing that. Hot rock is fire and earth, firestorm is fire and wind, and you know, multiple uh, elements. So like example for vortex, if you have water and wind equipped, then you're gonna unlock vortex. Let's take a look at this in game um, so that you can, you can see how it kind of operates. Okay, none of this really matters. Okay, so right off the bat, we have um, cure and fire, but that's not going to unlock anything. Let's go ahead and unlock uh, all the all some other skills. So let's basically take off all of our skills to to start off with. You see how I exited the menu and I came back into the menu? That's the refresh thing I was talking about. So now we have no skill uh, skills equipped. So we have access to only the skills that I've learned from accessing that event right there. So if I equipped fire and then I equipped, um, let's say, lightning. And then, okay, so I should have uh, the ability to shock fire. But there's a refresh issue. To get around that, you exit the menu and then you go back into the menu and you can see that we've unlocked Shockfire. Um, the problem with uh, the first part of it is if we unequipped uh, one of them, we still have access to Shockfire, right? And um, we can still uh, use Shockfire. But that second line of code, thanks to Michael Knowles, AKA Chaos Control, he helped me figure this one out. When you try to use the skill that requires both, it makes it uh, grayed out. So because we unequipped Thunder, we're not able to use it. So this, what, this is what makes the system actually work, but it still has that error of refreshing. So anyway, there's lots of things you can do with this, and it's really easy to do. All you have to do is add some, uh, some code to your, to your states and add some new states, and everything is uh, listed right here. The video tutorials, I'm going to put that right here. So just go to driftwoodgaming.com. Go to RPG Maker MV, Tips and Tricks, and you'll have all these tips and tricks right here. And this is for the Equip Skill Combo Bonus. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this sort of video, please give it a thumbs up. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. All that stuff is really awesome. Um, if you guys want more stuff like this, let me know. If you figure out better ways to do this, also let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.